All right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create a cribbage board template on vCarve Desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. Uh, my piece is going to be 17 and a half inches long, six and a quarter inches wide, and one inch thick. I generally leave my start position as the top left. All right, so you're going to start by drawing a line about 12 inches long. Oops. Let's try that again. Draw a line 12 inches long. Close. So now you have one line. Select it. You're going to copy it and you're going to paste it. Now whenever you paste something in vCarve, it's going to paste it directly over top of where you copied it from. So you're going to leave it where it is. You're going to push the Move Selected Objects button, and to your Y position, you're going to add 1.375 to this number. All right, so that takes you up to negative 2.375. Two, two, eight. Push apply. There's one line. So now you're going to want to repeat that step. Copy this line, paste it again. It's pasted right on top of itself. And you're going to want to add 1.375 to your Y position again. And that takes us to 1.1478. Apply. Now you have three lines. So this is the holes are going to come up along here, go on an arc like this, come back, go on an arc here, and finish right here. So these are the three lines that those holes are going to be following. Now, when we were moving these, your Y position most likely will not be the same number as I am. So whatever you have as your number there, you just add 1.375 to that number. All right, so now we're going to center these three lines on the entire board. We're going to unselect those, choose the draw arc tool, and you're going to want to do it through three points. So you choose the first line and the end of the second line, and you draw an arc. Usually as big as it'll let you go there is when it works out to be a perfect circle. Now you're going to want to do the exact same thing down here except with only two lines, the close two lines. Okay, so now you can kind of see your layout here. You have that standard cribbage board layout. Your next step, you're going to draw a circle had a 1 8th diameter. And you're going to put the first one right at the end here. Now if I zoom in on that, I'm going to want to do the same thing I did with the lines at the start. I'm going to copy it, paste it, and it's pasted right on top of itself, and I'm going to want to move it, and this time we're going to go with a quarter inch so to my Y position, I want to add, change this to 0.75, apply. I'm going to want to copy it. I can just paste it on top of itself. And if I want to go up, I go the up direction. All right, there we go. And you can make your spacing whatever you want. But for this, I'm going to stick with a quarter inch. So your next step, you want to highlight all three of these, and you're going to want to make them into a group. If you don't group those three holes, this won't work out at all. All right, so after you've selected this group, you're going to push Shift and select your first line here, and you're going to want to do 
copy along vectors. Now you want to copy object and you want to have number of copies selected. So uh, on your first line you're going to want 43 copies. Just push copy and it should look like this. If it doesn't look like this, chances are you forgot to group this first set. From here you choose the last one, hold shift and select your first arc. And on your first arc you want 15 copies. So you can change this number to 15. Now for this one you want to make sure align objects to curve is checked off. Otherwise it won't work out. So now the circles have followed the arc. Now select this one, the last one. Select your second line. Oops. And you're going to want to copy along vectors again. Now this one's going to be 43 copies again. Oops. three copies. Should look like that. Now again for the arc, choose this one, hold shift, select the arc, and make sure you have align objects to curve selected. Now for this one you only want to make five copies. And for the last stretch, select the last one. Choose your line, and once again, 43 copies. Okay, so now you can see it a little bit better. You want to start at the end and go through the whole thing and delete every sixth set of holes. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and go through the whole board deleting every sixth one. Now if you do make a mistake, say I deleted this one by accident, just hold control and push Z and that brings it back. Once you get the first row done you can just line up the ones above and below it move a little bit faster. Okay, now that this is done, you can delete your guidelines that you made at the start. Delete the arcs. Okay, now you can see these two here, this one and this one, as well as I believe the start look a little bit darker. That's because there's a copy underneath it, so you need to zoom in and you can kind of see the lines don't quite line up. Now select either one of those copies and push delete. So there's only one set of holes on each one. Select it and delete. Select it and delete. Okay. Now the only thing that's missing is your winning hole and one more set of holes at the start. So to do the winning hole, select the last one and you're going to want to ungroup it. Choose the center hole, copy and paste it, and then just use your arrow key to move it on over. After that, go back to the start here, and this is the starting two holes where the pegs go. So you're going to want to copy that. Oops. Copy paste it, and same thing, you can move that on over with the arrow keys, click off of it, and there you go. 
There's your layout. Now to do the tool paths, highlight the whole thing and make sure it's all one group. Push this door, go over to tool paths and you can either use pockets or drilling but for this one because I'm using a eighth inch end mill I'm going to do drilling. Now maybe it's a good idea to do a sample piece and figure out what a good depth for the pegs that you're going to use is. Uh, I use ones from Lee Valley, they're metal and I found that 0.4375 is the best depth for them. So I have my end mill selected, eighth inch down spiral. That's going to retract above the cutting start depth. So every time it goes down into the hole, it's going to come out and that just helps clear out some of the dust so it doesn't get all gummed up in there. Push calculate. Okay. Preview. And there you have it. There's your curbage board. All right, so if anyone has any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. You can also check me out on Instagram at JK Custom Wood.